How to Build a Telescope Dolly, Part 2. This video shows how to build a wooden dolly to move a telescope mounted on a tripod. This telescope in the video is a Mead LX600 12-inch telescope, but the dolly can be adapted to fit many other telescopes. This wooden dolly costs well under $100. Additional construction information is given in video part 3. We'll first mount the telescope on the tripod and then we'll use the legs of the tripod as a guide for constructing the dolly. Here's how to determine the approximate length of the 2x4s used for the dolly legs. Measure on the floor from below the center brace at the bottom of the tripod legs. Measure from there to the outer edge of one of the tips and then add 10 inches. That's the length of the two shorter dolly legs. The third dolly leg add another foot to that length so that there will be room to extend one of the legs to level the tripod on an uneven surface. You're ready to purchase your parts at the hardware store. Have them to cut two 2x4s two to the short length and one to the longer length. Five foot 1x4 pine. You need one of those. You need two plywood that are two foot by two foot by one half inch. They'll cut them in the hardware store for you. And you'll need six foot of 1x2 pine. Now on the wheels, I'll show you a picture of the wheels that I used in a moment. They are locking swivel wheels. The locks lock both the swivel and the wheel rotation. You'll need three of those. This is an error. For those wheels, you'll need 12 2.5 inch, 5 16 inch carriage bolts, 12 washers, and 12 nylon stop nuts. For the bolts that hold the plywood onto the 2x4s, you'll need six. 3 inch, 5 16 inch hex bolts, 12 washers, and 6 stop nuts. And you'll need a handful, 30 or so, 1 and a half inch all-purpose screws. These are usually brass flathead Phillips, and you can buy them by the pound in most hardware stores. Here's the type of wheel that I'm using. It's a 3 inch wheel. When you push this lever down, it locks the rotation of the wheel and it locks the swivel. And you do want to lock both. Here's a rough rundown of the tools you'll need to build it. If you don't have the power saws, you can do it with hand saws. It'll just take you a lot longer. So miter saw, bench saw, electric drill and bits, a countersink bit for those wood screws, and a Phillips bit for the wood screws for your drill. Now the 5 16 inch bolts take half inch wrenches. Skip the line that starts with 3 quarter inch. Cut a 130 degree point and one end of each of the 2x4s. Use a miter saw set to 30 degrees to cut each side of that point. Next, we're going to cut the 2x4s to their final lengths and cut the boards that prevent the tripod legs from slipping off the 2x4s on the dolly. Lay the boards that you have cut to their approximate lengths on the floor now. Put the good side up. Put the three boards down on the same sides of the tripod legs. Touch their points together under that center brace. And make sure all the legs are touching the side of the tripod leg. Remember, these boards are now have their approximate lengths, but we're going to fine-tune them. For the shorter 2x4s, place a 1x2 edge on perpendicular across the 2x4 one inch from the tip of the tripod leg. One quarter inch from there place the wheel flange side down. Now carefully hold this down mark the 2x4 on each side of it. Also mark the edge of the flange on both ends. Measure over one more inch mark the board you will cut the 2x4s later. That's where you will cut it to its final length. Do that for the two shorter boards. For the longer board, 
You'll do the same thing, but you're going to allow maybe six inches or eight inches between the tip of the tripod leg and this board. Then you're going to put this down the same way. You're going to mark the 2x4 the same way. You will cut all the 2x4s later. Now the next thing you can do is don't move these boards. Keep them all carefully where they are, touching the, the uh, sides of the tripod legs and with their points together under that center brace. Remember, this, this board is perpendicular to the 2x4. So if you can hold it in place, you could butt two pieces of 1x4s on this side. Because what you're going to do is you're going to measure and cut the 1x2 so that it goes from an edge, the outer edge of a 1x4 across the 2x4, and then it goes across to the outer edge of the other 1x4. Now you can go ahead and cut three of these. There's one of these on each of the dolly legs. Now for this piece, this board needs to have, be in its original position and this board needs to be on its lines that you marked so that it has the one inch clearance. We're working on one of the shorter 2x4s. You want to lay the uh, 1x4 here and mark where it extends to where it's still protecting the side of this tripod leg that's going up. Cut the four one by fours for the short dolly legs. So they'll look like this. For the longer two by four, there'll just be more space right here. And then again, these will extend to the same position beside the uh, tripod leg here. So this, these two boards will be longer for the longer two by four. Cut the two longer one by fours now. You can really do everything else on the workbench as long as you have marked this on both sides and then you would have marked where this goes and you would have marked where to cut uh, the boards to their final lengths. So you can take all these things off the top, you can pick this up and you can do the rest of the jobs using your uh, miter saw and, and doing some work on your workbench. Uh, you might want to do these one at a time so you don't get confused. So pick up one of the boards, cut it to its final length with your miter saw, put it on your workbench, and mount the wood pieces where you've marked them. Don't mount the wheels now. We'll mount them later. Next, we'll cut two two-foot equilateral triangles from the plywood. Mark the centers of the triangles. If you need help cutting the triangles, see video part three. Cut the tips off so they'll look like this when you lay them on the 2x4s. Assemble all the boards and bolt them together under the tripod. As you assemble the dolly, put pieces of lumber underneath to prop everything up so that there's room to stick a C-clamp under the bottom triangle. As you stack everything, be sure you center the plywood under that bracket between the tripod legs and the joint junction of the three 2x4s and the top plywood. Make sure they're all centered. Clamp the upper and lower plywood and the 2x4 together so they don't move. And then drill a mounting bolt hole here and this side of the center a couple of inches. Do it on all three legs. Assemble the bolts, washers, and nuts and tighten everything up. As you tighten the bolts, make sure, again, all three legs are touching the tripod legs. And this is still centered. It's very easy to screw this up. The last step is to mount the wheels. You don't have the tripod sitting on the dolly at this point. But you have mounted these parts here and you've mounted everything together with the triangles. Place the wheel on top of the board with the flange against the board so that th this edge of the flange is one inch from the end of the board. Once you have the f each wheel centered, drill the mounting holes for the 5 16 inch bolts. Lift up each tripod leg and bolt the wheels on underneath. That completes the construction of the dolly. All you need to do now is remove the dolly from under the tripod, sand any rough edges of the wood, and perhaps uh, coat the wood with something to protect it from moisture. We built the dolly with one slightly longer leg for leveling the telescope, but if your driveway has a steep slope like mine, you'll need to put a prop under one of the dolly legs. The simplest thing is just to stack short boards under the dolly leg. But you can build a simple ramp like this one. This one has boards on the sides and on the end to keep the wheels from slipping off the ramp. To use it, 
you you have to lift th this end of the dolly leg and stick this under it and then you can roll the dolly up the ramp. When you do that, this wheel will be turned the other way. So the clamp lever will be on the back side, but it's a little awkward, but you can still clamp it with your fingers. So you'll roll it up, and I've designed mine so that on my driveway, it has to be pretty much the end of the ramp. Then I lock the clamp, and that puts the ramp underneath the dolly leg so it doesn't create an additional trip hazard. If you liked my video, please like it and add a comment. If you subscribe and request email notifications, you'll be notified when videos are added to the channel. To visit my channel, click my name, Thomas Wallace, or my photo. Here's how to visit Tom's Tech Notes later. The address of the website is tomstechnotes.com. And to find the YouTube channel, just search for TOMSTDA.